Do you remember Robert Stevenson's novel, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Dr. Jekyll was a successful person, but with alternative personality. And he was fighting to hide his inner demon, Mr. Hyde. Today I'm going to tell you a similar story. My story of being an engineer and an artist. The story started when I was in the high school. My dream was to become a design engineer, civil engineer, architecture, or study any engineering field that combines art with engineering, so I can keep doing both. But I turned on to study electrical engineering. And to be honest, I was ready to study any engineering field, but not electrical. As a child, I used to think about devices, electronics, and machines as things drive the human away from nature. But this idea didn't change until I started studying engineering in the college, thanks to Dr. Amr Jihad, who taught us that engineering is not only a science, but a way of thinking. Mr. Mahmoud is our art teacher in Kalba Art Center. I remember when I was in the last year of college, we finally had our art teacher in Kalba Art Center, one of the Sharjah Foundation centers. He is a supportive artist who believes that everyone is an artist by nature and we only have to unleash that art potential from within. Mr. Mahmoud and Dr. Jihad are the two persons that shaped my life. Dr. Jihad, in one of the engineering lectures, he started by spreading the homework papers among us. And he looked at my paper, and he told me to not use the artistic theme again in the technical papers. I said, why, as a student? He said, because engineers in the real world will think about it as a way of attraction or distraction. And guess what? For engineers, attraction and distraction are the same thing. So I had to do art somewhere else. Luckily, in Kalba Art Center, I was having this opportunity. In that center, Mr. Mahmoud, the artist, after making some artworks, he was looking at my artworks and told me, in like a moment of truth, that I think one day you will leave engineering and do only art. And he did nothing but confused me more. Should I leave engineering and do only art? Or should I go for art and forget about engineering that I know and I love? Engineers and artists, ladies and gentlemen, are both tend to do and create things. But the thinking style differ. According to a study by MC Gradley, engineers were not as resistant to implement the plans of others. Engineers are practical people. While talking about artists, he said that art is exclusively a solitary activity. So art is the specialty. And by having both, we can combine and make a unique product with engineers and artists. And he continued, MC Gradley, in the study about the differences in styles of thinking between engineers and artists. He said that artists are like, I know whether it's good or bad, I don't need to be told. What's important is whether I'm satisfied. When we hear this from the artists, we see how committed they are to the uniqueness. The idea of combining engineering and art is never a new idea. The IEEE Potential magazine, the editorial board of that magazine, from the big organization IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. They decided to point out to the creativity. In the 2015 release, as an example, included many articles about engineers and artists, a promising collaboration. Well, <coughs> it's not only a promising collaboration, but it's a collaboration for future, for creativity and development. I don't know why we tend to have this situation. Engineers are told that they are wasting their time doing art, and artists are told that they are wasting their talent doing engineering. I don't know why we tend to have this situation of having right things on paper, but the wrong culture. But normally, 
Normally, the wrong culture is to spread among ordinary thinkers. But leaders and change drivers are to prefer the right attitude. We can think about art as a way of thinking to solve problems that come in a hierarchic way, in an anarchic way. And engineering is a way of thinking to solve problems that come in a hierarchic way. So hierarchic and anarchic. We have control, we have the sequence, we have the science, and we have the art, we have the specialty, and we have the uniqueness. Or maybe engineering is an art. As Henry Stott says, engineering is the art of organizing and directing men and controlling the forces and materials of the nature for the benefit of the human race. Mr. Mahmoud told us that he visited the Lover Palace years ago and he saw many works of Leonardo da Vinci and others. Leonardo da Vinci in particular was my role model. And now in the current time of my life, he is my artist and engineer role model. Leonardo da Vinci has been described by Mr. Ben Schneiderman, an American computer scientist, by saying that Leonardo da Vinci has combined art and science and engineering and aesthetic. And that kind of unity is needed once again. <coughs> Mr. Mahmoud used to encourage us to try different kind of arts. One day, he told us to use only blank colors instead of using the normal way of drawing. And now I'm going to explain how did I approach this idea as an engineer and an artist. Colors in nature, just like numbers, for example. Let's do a simple math here. Between zero and one, how many numbers we have? We have infinity numbers in nature, like 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, until we reach one, and then we go on. If we think about it as a wave, it will come just like analog wave. If we think about it as colors, we will have like a gradient colors coming from light to dark, for example. And if we think about it as a photo, it will come like a normal picture where we have the gradient colors. But the other perspective is like thinking about colors like numbers, discrete numbers, like one, two, three, four, infinity. So these discrete numbers, we can represent them by values of colors. <coughs> like for example, we have it coming this way. Each number will have a color. And if we think about it as a wave, it will come just like a digital wave. This is for engineers. And when we come to combine these ideas of having discrete numbers and represent them by colors, we have this artwork. This artwork, ladies and gentlemen, representing the idea of trying to combine engineering with an art. Are we the only people who are talking about this? Just last week in Dubai, in a youth forum called Tamakkan, Hanan bin Khalouq, the founder of Sustained Leadership, was pointing to the artificial intelligence, the future of that intelligence that will do everything for us. And she said, she pointed to that we have to have the artistic skills in order to balance ourselves, in order, in order to have the self sense of completion between being a human and using machines. I want you to come up with the three basic ideas from this speech. Engineers and artists are both tend to do and create things, but the thinking styles differ. <coughs> the combination between engineering and art is not a new idea, but a future direction. And number three is combining engineering and art is promoting the self sense of completion. My message to you is that the story of being an engineer and artist is never a strange case. And my message to Dr. Jihad and every engineer and to Mr. Mahmoud and every artist is to encourage the future union of engineers and artists. Thank you.